Hey everybody, this is Brian. I'm down at my dad's in Caldwell County, Kentucky. Uh, we came down here this weekend looking to do a little bit of arrowhead hunting out in the fields and the creeks, but we got some snow last night, so I don't know what we're going to do. We're probably going to go to our cave shelter where, uh, where we found a little bit of flint a little while back and found that old silver barb recorder. So, I'm going to show you around a little bit at my dad's. He's got some real nice property down here. He's got some creeks that are really nice. So, uh, let you check them out. These are some bird houses. He's, he's retired, so when he's not doing nothing, he likes to build his bird houses. They're everywhere. He's still got some in the garage. They hadn't even found a place to put yet, so kind of cool. Lots of birds come out here, and out in the middle of nowhere, it's pretty countryfied out here. Go down here to his park. Looks a lot better in the summer, of course, and all the trees, as you can see. If you remember, about in January of last year, we had that massive ice storm. They hit Kentucky pretty hard, and uh, every one of his trees, they took the tops out. It was horrible, horrible. So we got a lot of firewood out of it. That's the only good part, I guess. But the only bad part is that this park used to be really shady. And uh, in the summer when it's hot, and now it's not so shady, but... It's still a cool place to hang out. Got horseshoe pits and all that stuff. And we have a lot of fun out here. Come out here and just have just about every tree has a birdhouse. He loves his birdhouse. going to <clears throat> come down here in the creek and do some hunt some fossils and stuff we usually find a lot of a uh, whole lot of, we found this past summer probably 500 uh, of the little crinoid stems I like to call them Indian beads some people do we find a lot of like brachiopods and other cool fossils in here and we only found one piece of flint though which really surprises me because there's a field that runs off down into this creek on the other end that we found a lot of flint in it but uh, they've never plowed it up since he's been here so we haven't found anything great but we're optimistic that this year he's going to uh, plow that up and he's got just little signs everywhere it's a cool place I have a lot of fun out here party a little bit the creek is up really high it's usually this part right here is always a little bit deep but it's usually clear we've had a lot of rain the last this past week even got a little bit of rapids going today cool place got some big old rocks in there down in all these rocks. I don't know. I'll see if I can find a see if I can find a one of them little Indian beads real quick. This creek goes on and on and on and on. It's all along the side of this property. I'm really surprised we haven't found any arrowheads in here. But we haven't been hunting it all that long. Really since last summer probably. So they're out here. Just gotta find them.
There's an Indian bead right here. Not a real great one. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, where's my focus going there? Pretty neat. I'm finding lots of these down here. Sometimes some really big ones, holes all the way through them. We take them and throw them in a jar. of the day. There's just stuff everywhere out here. A little far pit. Doesn't look all that big, but we make some pretty big fires in it. Got to have the horseshoe pits and we got washer boards and stuff we bring out here. out here there's Herschel we call him Herschel his name's Champ but I'm Herschel not sure why I got started but Hear the wind that it's whipping. It's pretty cold out here today, I guess. I don't even know what the temperature is. I didn't even look, but I don't know what this is. I haven't seen this before. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know. like the top of a lighthouse. I don't know what that concoction is or well, what it's all about, but oh, I see. He's got some little uh, screws hanging on the end of these things. I guess he maybe he runs some corn up on there, I guess, because he's got the corn here. So Stuff for the squirrels. Great Creek. Uh, it's his property. Um, the people that lived here before him were pretty old and uh, they just liked the views. They didn't hunt any artifacts here. <clears throat> so it's, you know, I'm sure people have hunted this area before. Uh, this field up here is where we found last spring I guess we found a even though the field wasn't plowed we found a 